Welcome back Excel users. I've created this useful Excel file which you can download from the description for free as descriptions of useful Excel keyboard shortcuts. These have been grouped under different categories and the categories are general shortcuts, navigation, formatting, selection, editing, data management and formulas. And under each of these headings, the categories, you've got the keyboard shortcuts and then you've got the action description of what it does. And I've also included in the file practice data on which you can practice keyboard shortcuts. This will boost your productivity and help in your learning. Next, I'll demonstrate a sample of these keyboard shortcuts on the practice data. If you want to go to the first data cell, press Ctrl Home. If you want to go to the last data cell, press Ctrl End. If you want to navigate to the edges of the worksheet, press Ctrl Up Arrow or Right Arrow, Left Arrow, Down Arrow. That will navigate you to the edges of the worksheet. If you want to select the entire data set, press Ctrl A. If you want to add a new row above the row in the active cell, press a combination of Ctrl Shift Plus. And if you want to delete that row, press Ctrl Minus. If you want to select the entire row, press Shift Space. I'll select the entire row. And if you want to delete it, press Ctrl Minus. To add a new column, to the left of the active cell column, what we need to do is first select the active cell column. We do that on the keyboard by pressing Ctrl Spacebar. Once that's selected, then on the keyboard press Ctrl Shift Plus. That's going to introduce a new column to the left of the active cell column. In this case, it's Shift Mode 3. It's been selected, so if you want to delete it, press Ctrl Minus. If you want to delete another column, for example, Shift Mode 2, Again, we press Ctrl Spacebar to select the entire column, then press Ctrl Minus to delete that column. If you want to navigate between worksheets quickly, press Ctrl Page Up to go to the previous worksheet, press Ctrl Page Down to go to the next worksheet. If you want to toggle the auto filter, press Ctrl Shift L, and if you keep pressing it with those three keys engaged, then you can switch it on and off. And finally, if you want to Get some quick statistics from Excel relating to your workbook and your current worksheet. If you press Ctrl Shift G, Excel will open up a small dialog box containing workbook statistics relating to your current worksheet and your workbook. Hope you enjoyed watching this video, which will boost your productivity. See you next time.